going into this record, I didn't expect um, it to be well this long. And well, we we all know this record. We probably all know it, and it is. Prince's fifth studio album and it is 1999 and when I didn't hear of Prince before I didn't have a clue who, who he was I I had heard of 1999 I, I had heard the title track of the record and now I've heard of the entire album and well um, uh, yeah the main thing the main problem I have with this record that it is really long, it is 70 minutes in length and I didn't really expect it. Expect that. This is requested by Dylan Curran who, who, who requested all the 70s, 80s and um, early 90s record. He didn't request a debut album because, well, who cares, right? But, well, People were antici anticipated to hear more from Prince because he has released his Dirty Mind record and that was highly acclaimed. But then he, um, yeah, th then he got a bit of a downturn, or um, well, he went a bit downhill again with Controversy, which was still an alright record, but it wasn't Dirty Mind. And then he bounced right back off of that and made 1999 and. This is one of the the two three records that is an all time uh, Prince classic. And although I I think that this is a great record, this is definitely the greatest record I've listened to yet, or maybe Dirty Mind because that was a bit more consistent. The problem um, I had with that album was that it was too short, and this album is too long. So if I really have to say. Um, I think I slightly prefer this album because uh, this album has just much more to offer. It is way more funkier, it is, the production is better, Princess has more experience on this record. So this is definitely one of the greatest Prince records. But yeah, like I said, the main problem with the record is that it is 70 minutes long and it can get a bit tiring on you. Um, yeah, yeah b because before I... Before I listened to the record, I thought to myself, well, just put, let, let's let just put on the Sprint record, this is over before I know it, but yeah, then, then I looked at the length and I was like, yeah, this is a pretty long record. record. And the album spawned six singles, and yeah, almost everyone loved it, everyone almost is, um, is crazy about the record, and and like I said, it is definitely one of the best Prince records, but yeah, um, um, I, I liked a lot of songs on there. There, there, there are not a lot of weak tracks on there. Yeah, and the title track of course, the opener of the album is the title track, and I've heard the song before, the, yeah, just the main keyboards on this track are really uh, one of Prince's bestest up until that point. Um, yeah, the drum beats are really on point. The, the bass throughout is just amazing. The overall vibe I'm getting from this entire record, especially the title track, is just tremendous. And Prince proves once again that he can up the bar um, again and again with every upcoming album. So that is really amazing. Uh, then we have more songs. Th then we have Little Red Corvette, which is also uh, a song that I really love. Um, a bit more on the keyboards and a bit more on the main riffs. Yeah, yeah. talking about the little red Corvette. Um, I believe that Prince is sexualizing a car here. And um, yeah, I'm not going to go into that a lot, but you can uh, go figure. <coughs> you can make a story up if you want, but I, yeah, I prefer... Or, well, you have, to, you have to know for yourself, but it, it is a great song and arguably my favorite. Uh, the third track, Delirious, is also uh, really fun to listen to. Um, yeah, just saying that it is really delirious to um, that we're not together, stuff like that. Be because 1999 is 
Um, yeah, if 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 you if you thought that Dirty Mind was really sexual, then 1999 blows all your expectations away because this album is really sexually driven, which is the main um, the main songwriting. Um, just. <clears throat> just Prince writes most of his songs sexually driven, so maybe he's really horny or maybe he he's really in the mood to do it, you know, if if he wants to make a record, I'm not sure, but there we are. Um, but this is definitely a fun song, a light tune song, and uh, definitely a highlight for the record. Yeah, and um, the side two was really long. We had two songs from uh, 7 minutes and 8 minutes, which were really, really long. Let's pretend we're married, which is a, a fun song in the lyrics department. Just saying that, um, that that we can be together for 7 years and that no nobody has to know that. Uh, let's just pretend we're, we're married for the fun. So this is a light, uh, ha happy or a, a bit of a twisted song right here. Um, yeah, the main problem I have with this song is that it is... A bit too long. The first four or five minutes were really interesting, but then it drags on a bit. So maybe if the song was shortened out, we had a better album overall, but still a classic tune. Then we have a song that is the longest of the entire record, which is Automatic. Um, and by the way, DM DMSR is a bit uh, similar in vain to Let's Pretend, but it is one minute longer. So there we are. And Automatic is the longest song of the entire record, so we have three of the most longest songs played back to back at each other. So, not the best decision in my opinion, but still, uh, it still was an enjoyable song. But it re really felt like the song was really an automatic and uh, had just the same repetitive beat over and over again. And um, Yeah, the, the song was just really repetitive and it was almost 10 minutes long, so not the biggest fan of Automatic, it still was pretty good though, but not the biggest fan of the length. Uh, se the seventh song, Something in the Water, was really relaxing, does not compute, does not compute. A really relaxing light tune, I didn't really know that it was on because it was that relaxing. Uh, then we have the eighth song, Free, which is, was also really uh, carefree. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, uh, also a light tune. Really enjoyed the song. Re really great closer for this, uh, for side three. Yeah, and then the album goes a bit back to uh, to the long songs. Lady Cat Drive, which is also eight minutes long, and uh, yeah, the um, the length is good, or well, it is maybe a bit too stretched out for me at least. So. Uh, still a great song, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, yeah, just basically saying that um, the last side, side 4 is basically taking you on a tour because the ninth song is about a cab driver, which is uh, is good. Um, the tenth song is about all the cities love you in New York, Prince basically saying that all the critics love you in New York and he's basically just re repeating the title track over and over and over again. Um, yeah, which is, it is still a good song, but it gets a bit tiring on you pretty fast in my opinion, but there we are. Um, and then we have the last song, which is International Lover, and um, yeah, personally this this is the most, or personally, this is in fact the most sexually driven song of the entire record, just moaning and almost screaming the entire time and saying that um, they're on a plane, by the way, International Lover, if you... Um, if it wasn't obvious already, but they're on a plane and he's just saying at the end that um, thank you for flying international or, or Prince Airlines and uh, yeah, just almost getting an uh, just almost getting a gasm, a, um, a a orgasm at the end, which is really really st um, straight. Well, it is Prince. I have to say that, but I'm not really a fan of those moaning sounds, so. Uh, overall, if, I, if I'm really honest, I like the album, but maybe I have to listen to it more because it was for me a bit repetitive and it was a bit disappointing. Not to say that it is a bad record, but 
but I personally thought this this would be one of the greatest records ever. And it is listed, I believe, in the top 200 greatest albums. And I think it definitely deserves to be on there because it is a great record. But uh, personally, uh, maybe I need to listen to it more. But uh, for now, I'm going to give it a... Uh, what will I give it? Hmm... I'm I'm gonna give it a 8.9. I still really enjoyed it. That is actually lower than Dirty Mind, but Dirty Mind was more consistent and it is more replayable. And after I listened to this record, I am really tired of uh, of this record because it was so long. And Dirty Mind um, is pretty addictive to listen to because of the short length. Maybe a bit longer, but um, that would be perfected on later records. Uh, trust me. But I hope you've enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about 999. Do you think it is his best record? Do you think it is his worst one? Yeah, um, let me know in the comments and we can discuss it. Enjoy Prince. He's a great artist and have a nice time.